and we were 23 and 0 and the best team in the country. And in my mind, probably the best lacrosse team ever to play the game since they started doing all this stuff. I don't know how you got through Wilson Hall, how you got through Garnet Valley and the, whenever that was, the Bailey Brothers and Matt Walters. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
My wife, she said to me all summer, um, it's over when I say it's over. Inside shot, goal. Carl Walrath to Henry Blinn. Henry Blinn. Haverford gets it going first quarter action. Everyone here except me. Basically, that came came uh, came here from uh, came here for high school just because like um, I felt like they they knew about Haverford like the history of like Haverford lacrosse and like they want to become part of it too. Like, it's a big deal. Haverford again in their commemorative blue jersey. I mean, did you? Feel, am I right or no? Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. Like I remember when I was growing up, like you always used to watch like. Um, John Hawley, Kyle Warren, like. We played hard. We made plays when we needed to make plays.
That's okay. And then at the end, 58 seconds left, they had the ball, you know, it just didn't seem right, like, you know, like, this isn't supposed to happen, like, I can't, I can't even believe it, like, yeah, I seriously, it was like, you know, I just couldn't, couldn't believe what was happening. And then at the end, when we, you know, when we, we did what we did. Carl came up big. We had one guy stand out the side of the huddle, and I'll, I'll remember this forever. And it was Carl, he's like, just don't panic. had a nice goal and it was just another face off and uh just uh, hey everyone don't don't worry about anything and in his own mind for the first time and I've been telling him for years I'm like dude why don't you just why don't you just play so hard that when you walk off the field everyone's like who is that guy and he did it a lot but he really did it that night and in his own way, he's like, don't panic, don't panic. And really, what are you saying to all you guys? He's like, get the fuck out of my way and give me the ball. <laughs> It 
is a part of the face-off, which is the draw, and then, you know, there's a ground ball, which it squirted out, he, he got it. Uh, you know, I was just like, you know, like, I'm getting the ball. But I went to check it, check uh, his stick, so the ball came out. And it was Carl, he's like, just don't panic. Just, I, hey, everyone, don't, don't worry about anything. And in his own mind, for the first time, and I've been telling him for years, I'm like, dude, why don't you just, why don't you just play so hard that when you walk off the field, everyone's like, who is that guy? And he did it a lot, but he really did it that night, and he scored two goals within 40 seconds. He had a nice goal, and it was just another face-off. And, uh... and in his own way, he's like, don't panic, don't panic. And really, what are you saying to all you guys? He's like, Get the fuck out of my way and give me the ball. <laughs> and he scored two goals within 40 seconds. It's a part of the face-off, which is the draw, and then, you know, there's a ground ball, which it squirted out, he, he got it. Uh, you know, I was just like, you know, like, I'm getting the ball. You know, I thought he got it first, but I went to check, it, check uh, his stick, so the ball came out. No one will ever be able to take away what we did as a school, as a team. You know, I don't know how you guys did it. And we were 23-0 and the best team in the country. And in my mind, probably the best lacrosse team ever to play the game since they started doing all this stuff. I think we really experienced that after the game. Like, we knew we accomplished that. Like, when little kids came up to us, like, asking for autographs. And, like, that was awesome. We really wanted to be, like, like what the kids talked about. Once we actually won, like, I felt like we, like, we had, like, accomplished that as well. That's okay. Yeah, I seriously, it was like, you know, I just couldn't, couldn't believe what was happening. Played hard. We made plays when we needed to make plays. No one will ever be able to take away what we did as a school, as a team. You know, I don't know how you guys did it. Tonight's a celebration of everybody. That cup right there. I'm gonna say that this thing is the culmination in a lot in very good shape of a lot of hard work. God bless you guys. Thank you very much. Dude, I think we really experienced that after the game. Like we knew we accomplished that. Like we really wanted to be like like what the kids talked about. Like I remember when I was growing up, like you always used to watch like um, John Hawley, Kyle Warren, like when little kids came up to us like asking for autographs and like that was awesome. But once we actually won, like, I felt like we like we had like accomplished that as well. Not that we wouldn't have been a part of like you know the great Hanford lacrosse tradition, but uh, that really like capped it all off. You know, I, I was like, I mean, all of us, you know, we once we did that, you know, that made us part of the greats that played at Hanford. You guys have the world in front of you, the young guys, older guys. Get it done. Don't forget your base. Don't forget what Coach Loving and Coach Patron, Coach Marcel, and uh, Coach O'Grady taught you. I'm going to say that this thing is the culmination in a lot in very good shape of a lot of hard work. God bless you guys. Thank you very much. Get on that, love. better me and Hub as like friends like he will never give up and he whatever he feels like and this is, it's a good thing too because like 
whatever he feels like, he think he he feels like is right. He's gonna fight for it. Like I guard him every day in practice, and I know that like he will never give up. Especially when like I pick up the ball, like off the end line, we're trying to clear. I know I'm getting hacked the fuck out of my arms. Like I know Hop's coming, like riding me. Uh, oh, you can like. Look We were twins separated at birth. Oh, get on that We were twins separated at birth. <laughs> 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 Really become one of like those players that they used to look up. I think we really wanted to be like, like what the kids talked about. Like I remember when I was growing up, like you always used to watch like um, John Holiday, Kyle Warren. Like we really experienced that after the game. Like we knew we accomplished that. Like when little kids came up to us like asking for autographs, and like that was awesome. That really like capped it all off. Once we actually won, like, I felt like we like we had like accomplished that as well. Once we did that, you know, that made us part of the greats that played at Harvard. You really become one of like those players that they like, used to look up. Think we really wanted to be like like what the kids talked about. Like I remember when I was growing up, like you always used to watch like um, John Holiday, Kyle Warren, like we really experienced that after the game. Like we knew we accomplished that. Like when little kids came up to us like asking for autographs and like that was awesome. That really like capped it all off. Once we actually won, like, I felt like we like we had like accomplished that as well. Once we did that, you know, that made us part of the greats that played at Harvard.